Hi, I'm Jonas from Refugees Welcome. I'm Mareike from Refugees Welcome. Why should refugees uh, not be able to live in a flat share with locals or in other private housing situations? And this is what we thought in uh, the end of 2014 when we founded Refugees Welcome. Before, uh, in 2014, we were totally interested in the in the problems uh, of the housing situation and accommodation of refugees in, who arrive in Germany. And that was the first point where we thought, okay, now we can get active and we offered this spare room to refugees for six months, uh, a guy from Mali, his name is Bakari. And this was great and because this worked so easy and we realized, okay, it's not illegal and it's not really uh, uh, difficult or something, uh, we just thought about it, okay, let's make a platform and tell people and spread the word that this is possible. I think refugees and migrants and locals should have the same rights and should be accommodated or have the possibility to choose their own way of living. Every person who come to another country and is seen as a migrant or as a refugee um, got a reason why he or she is moving. In Europe the government is judging this reason. So this is a good reason, this is not a good reason and uh, we don't believe in this. We think this, this is an old concept. Uh, Europe is totally uh, part of the, of the problem which make them flee. So uh, we have to face this in the year 2016 because we think this is the time for thinking like this. We have to stay flexible with the concept, I think, um, because we have to face uh, other problems than last year. For example, last year we had like 1,000 registrations for spare rooms per month and now we got about 50 to 70 registrations per month. So this is what makes it totally important for us to, to keep the concept flexible and for example uh, in Portugal to also say okay it's not only about refugees because there are not so many refugees as in Germany for example, it's also about migrants and just bringing locals and non-locals together to a dialogue to have a better life for all of them together. People agree is, um, that uh centralized accommodation of people is never good and uh, will never have good effects on long term. And especially in this refugee topic, so many people, and also migration topic, so many people telling uh, the mass of the people, no, this will not work because of religion, because of this, because of that. And um, we didn't believe this and we just said, okay, let's make an experiment and see what happens. And this is totally important for us because we are, how you said, a small NGO. We cannot. We cannot uh, bring thousands of people in, in a living together. It's not possible for us because of the structures and stuff. But we can show that this is working. And this is also for a utopia and for the long term and the sustainability of this idea that, uh, and also in architecture and migration, that uh, this can work. And uh, we just bring the proof with the Refugees Welcome.